You're listening to Movies, 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 where I give a quick rundown of the movies coming out in movie theaters. I'm going to talk about movies coming out in theaters the week of April the 23rd. The first one we'll talk about, Sweet River, no tomato meter rating and no audience score. Desperate to find her son's body, a woman travels to a suspected serial killer's, killer's hometown and discovers many dark secrets. It's a horror, mystery, and thriller directed by Justin McMillan, produced by Ashley McLeod, written by Eddie Baru and Mark Fernie. It's also streaming. It's in theaters limited. It's 1 hour and 42 minutes by Metro Technology, ACM Films, Creo Films FZ, Headgear Films, and The Harvest Film Productions. Some of the cast and crew, Jack Ellis as Simpkins, Charlotte Stent as Violet, Martin Sachs as John Drake, Chris Haywood as Nigel, Eddie Baru as Tom Evans, and Lisa Kay as Hannah. Trigger Point, 29% on the tomato meter, 56% on the audience score. A disgraced U.S. operative who suffered memory loss at the hands of his captors gets dragged back into the deadly spy world when a colleague goes missing. He needs all the skills to find her, but to uncover the truth, he must remember the past. It's the action, mystery, and thriller. Directed by Brad Turner. Produced by Thomas Vincelides. Eric Bernberg, David Fannin, Connor McAdam, and David Nadelberg. Written by Michael Vickerman. It's also streaming, and it's only in theaters limited. It's one hour and 23 minutes long by High Park Entertainment and Landmark Studio Group. Some of the cast and crew, Rainbow Sun Franks as Mouthpiece, Jane Eastwood as Irene Cole, Combe Fior as Elias Kane, Eve Harlow as Monica Kane, Laura Vandervoort as Fiona Snow, and Barry Pepper as Nicholas Shaw. Mortal Kombat! 55% on tomato meters, 86% on the audience score. In this movie, MMA fighter Cole Young, accustomed to taking a beating for money, is unaware of his heritage or why Outworld's Emperor Shang Tsung has sent his best warrior, Sub-Zero, an otherworldly cryomancer, to hunt Cole down. Fearing for his family's safety, Cole goes in search of Sonya Blade at the direction of Jax, a special forces major who bears the same strange dragon marking Cole was born with. Soon, he finds himself at the temple of Lord Raiden, an elder god at the protector and the protector of Earthrealm, who grants sanctuary to those who bear the mark. Here, Cole trains with experienced warriors Liu Kang, Kung Lao, and rogue mercenary Kano as he prepares to stand with Earth's greatest champions against the enemies of Outworld in the high-stakes battle for the universe. But will Cole be pushed hard enough to unlock his arcana, the immense power from within his soul, in time to save not only his family, but to stop Outworld once and for all? It's rated R for some crude references, anguish throughout, and strong, bloody violence. It is an action-adventure fantasy, directed by Simon McCoy, produced by James Wan and Todd Garner, written by Greg Russo and David Callahan. It's widely through in theaters. Uh, it's also streaming. One hour and 50 minutes long by Broken Road Productions, New Line Cinema, Atomic Monster, Netherrealm Studios, and Warner Brothers. Some of the cast and crew, Matilda Kimber as Emily, McCad Brooks as Jax, Joe Taslam as Bihan, or Sub-Zero, Josh Lawson as Kano, Jessica McNamee as Sonya Blade, and Louis Tan as Cole Young. Wildcat! 58% of the tomato meter, no audience score. An ambitious reporter 
is stationed in the Middle East is taken captive after a militant group ambushes her convoy. Convinced that the young woman is hiding her true identity, they'll stop at nothing to extract information crucial to the success of their upcoming terrorist attack. With time running out, she must find a way to survive and turn the tables on her assailants. It's rated R for language and violence torture. It's a drama, mystery, and thriller. Directed by Jonathan W. Stokes. Produced by Christopher Allender. Narina Hakopian. Written by Jonathan W. Stokes. It is limited in theaters. It's coming out streaming on April 27th. It's one hour, 33 minutes long by Divide Cocker and a Soapbox Films. Some of the cast are crew, Chido Nwokocha as Medic, Ali Alami as Self, or Safe, Maido Hamada as Khaled, Abrim Reno as Jala, Luke Benward as Luke White, and Georgina Campbell as Kadija Kadija Yo. Sorry about messing up the names. Alright, now Bloodthirsty. 86% on tomato meter, 38% on the audience score. Gray, an indie singer, whose first album was a smash hit, gets an invitation to work with notorious music producer Vaughn Daniels at his remote studio in the woods. Together with her girlfriend, lover, Charlie, they arrive at his mansion and the work begins. But Gray is having visions that she is a wolf and as her work with the emotionally demanding Vaughn deepens, the vegan singer begins to hunger for meat and the hunt. As Gray starts to transform into a werewolf, she begins to find out who she really is and begins to discover the family she never knew. What will it take to become a great artist and to what cost to her humanity? It's a fantasy horror, mystery, and thriller. Directed by Amelia Moses. Produced by Wendy Hill Tout and Michael Peterson. Written by Wendy Hill Tout and Lowell. It's limited in theaters and it's also streaming. It's one hour and 25 minutes long by Voice Pictures Inc. and 775 Media Group. And right now, Together Together. 91% on tomato meter, 77% on audience score. When young loner Anna is hired as the distasteful surrogate for Matt, a single man in his 40s who wants a child, the two strangers come to realize this unexpected relationship will quickly challenge their perceptions of connection, boundaries, and the particulars of love. It's rated R for language and some sexual references. It's a comedy drama directed by Nicole Beckwith, produced by Daniela Taplin Lundberg, Anthony Brandon Nicio, and Tim Heddington. Written by Nicole Beckwith. It's widely in theaters. It's coming out streaming on the 26th of April. It's one hour and 30 minutes long by Wild Idea, Haven Entertainment, and Stay Gold Features. Some of the cast and crew. Surf Bradshaw's in it. Tig Notaro is it, Nora Dunn, and Patty Harrison. Alright, The Mitchells vs. The Machines. 98% on Tomato Meter with a 89% audience score. Young Katie Mitchell embarks on a road trip with her proud parents, younger brother, a beloved dog to start her first year at film school. But, their plans to bond as a family soon get interrupted when the world's electronic devices come to life to stage an uprising. With help from two friendly robots, the Mitchells must now come together to save one another and the planet from the new technological revolution. Great PG for action and some language. It's a kids and family, comedy, adventure, animation, action, sci-fi. Directed by... Michael Rianda, produced by Phil Lord, Chris Miller, and Kurt Albrecht, written by Michael Rianda and Jeff Rowe. It's limited in theaters, and it's coming out streaming on the 30th. It's one hour and 54 minutes long by Columbia Pictures, Lord Miller, Sony Pictures Animation. Some of the cast and crew, 
Olivia Coleman is the voice of Pal. Eric Andre is the voice of Mark Bowman. Michael Rianda is the voice of Aaron Mitchell. Maya Rudolph is the voice of Linda Mitchell. Danny McBride is the voice of Rick Mitchell. And Abby Jacobson is the voice of Katie Mitchell. All right, well, that is it for Movies Come Out in Theaters the week of April the 23rd. Have fun watching the movies. This show is brought to you by Heartland Production Entertainment. If you'd like to help to make the show better, go to patreon.com slash heartlandpae.